Hey okay, viewers, Daniel23 here, how you doing? Haven't made a video in quite some time. But I'm making one now. This is a response video. It's a kind of a strange twist on a ponage video. It's directed towards Nephilim 3. Okay, let's just quickly get the story so far. There is a uh, parent population of uh, little lizards called Podsecula, and uh, a small segment of them were transplanted onto a small island, and that, that smaller daughter population developed sequel valves, a morphological change. Nephilim's, Nephilim Free's response to this is that, no, there is no, nef there is no morphological change, that's impossible, can't happen, and uh, more than that, Nephilim believes that the information, the information for sequel valves was in the or original parent population. Nephilim, who, Nephilim, mate, you, you, you do some strange things in my opinion. Let me just highlight the first one. In the information, when you're talking to Don Exodus, um, you say, and I'll just quote here, Don Exodus has done a goofy thing. He claimed the sequel valves of Italian war lizards is a new feature which evolved. He did not do his homework. Um, that's going to come back to bite you, Neph. He did not do his homework like the average evolutionists. He read the claim somewhere, likely talkidiots.com, and fell for it hook, line, and sinker. Then, now, Neff, you go on to um, cite some resources of your own. And where are you quoting from, Neff? You're quoting from Science Daily. Now, Neff, who, who are these, who's this Science Daily crowd? As you say, it's a it's a popular science a popular science website. You then go on to claim another from another source that uh, you admit is an abstract. So Neff, we're talking about not doing your homework. Why you claim you know why why is Science Daily more credible than talkidiots.com? Next point. And this is um, the, the thing that you cherry-picked. And I, I have to describe it as a cherry-pick. Because you haven't looked in depth at, at what... This is just a glancing blow research. This is what you say. This is what you, 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 you quote. Tail clips <clears throat> taken for DNA analysis confirmed that pod mercura lizards were genetically identical to the source population of pod copsi. You claim this from another another reference that was an extract and you didn't go to the source so you stopped at the extract now here is where I am going to make a claim and, and I'm going to suggest that where you saw the words genetically identical that is where your research stopped and where your your presuppositional imagination kicked in when you saw the words genetically identical between the two populations, you assumed that that meant that the a study had been done of both populations and that they'd been found to be genetically identical. Then you assumed that that meant that the sequel valves that appeared in the daughter population, because they're genetically identical, must have already existed in the parent population. And then you go on to further claim that both of these genomes have been um, have been decoded and investigated, and yes, indeed. Sequel valves have been found in the parent population. And that is all fantasy. And that is all fantasy, Neff. You didn't provide any resources, uh, any references for that. And it all comes, it's all extrapolated from the words genetically identical. Down the bottom of the Science Daily um, article, they explain where they got this information from. They got it from the University of Massachusetts uh, website. If you go to their website, you can find the original article. Now, around about this time, you start getting all overconfident. You start kicking in things like, I've punked this guy. Um, you start throwing around the L word, the lie word. This person's lying, that person's lying, everybody's lying. Um, and, you know, sometimes I'm just amazed, Neff. Um, so let's continue the investigation and find out what the web, the the actual, we're getting very close to the horse's mouth, right? The original article, let's see what that says about this identicality of the two populations. 
it says here. Genetic mitochondrial DNA analysis indicates that the lizards currently on Podmakaru are indeed P. secula, and they are genetically indistinguishable from the lizards from the source population. Well, well, well. How about that? What does this mean? We've got one population that exhibits um, no... Uh, one population exhibits... The daughter population exhibits a new feature, and the, the original population doesn't, but they're genetically indistinguishable, genetically identical. What does that mean? There's a link. Now, I suspect you didn't read the, the original article, and I'll explain that in a little bit later on, uh, why I think that, for a number of different reasons I, I think that. But there's a link here, and we'll just click on that link and um, find out what they mean by genetically indistinguishable. Now, I'm going to read out a whole bunch of scientific gobbledygook that I had had a lot of trouble understanding and I had to Google very small sections of it bit by bit to understand what it says. <clears throat> Here's what it says. Neighbour joining tree of Duke's Cantor distances derived from a concated alignment of partial mitochondrial 12S RDNA and 16S RDNA sequences showing phylogenetic relationships among the selected number of populations of P. secular and P. mesilenius, include individuals from two populations studied here. What this is saying is that where you see the words genetically identical, it means that a test was done to see if the two populations were the same, so that we were comparing apples and apples, not our apples and oranges, right? And the test that was done is, it's, it's like fingerprints. You know when you go to court and you, do, and you get a fingerprint evidence? What they do is they check that 15 features on a fingerprint are the same, and then they consider that it's statistically highly improbable that anybody else is going to, you know, that that's going to be your fingerprints. It's statistically unlikely to be anybody else's. And they do the same thing with genetic testing. They do this in the courts as well. They don't sequence the whole the whole genome. Think how long it took to sequence the, the whole human genome and find out what all the genes do. That's years. I think it's still ongoing, right? So what they did was they just sequenced a small part of it. And they list that here, 12 srDNA and 16 srDNA. So they just sequenced bits. So this is what I'm saying, Neff, is that when you saw genetically identical, you just, you know, gave flight to presuppositions and, and, and you just started making up stuff. Okay, so your claim now is that um, Podsecurus, the, 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 gene, the genomes have been sequenced and that the sequel valves have been found in the original population. And I'm going to say, <clears throat> I'm going to put it on the line and say, no, it hasn't. That is not true. And I have looked. And if you can find the information, well, show me. But that is not true. And I'll even take that one step further, because the... University of Massachusetts um, advertises Duncan Urschick, who was who was involved in the research and did the article, and it's got his website here. And I went and asked him a question or two. And I actually did this in 2008, Neff, because I wanted to know exactly the answers to this, these questions. And he gave me those answers. And he says, we cannot say for sure whether it is the case that the... the, the, the sequel vows exist in the pre-existing parent population. I highly doubt it. It's not an all-or-nothing trait. It's likely controlled by many genes. Again, we cannot say. We do not know that the population... All we know is that the population all of a sudden has sequel valves. The parent population does not. The genetic mechanism is unknown. Okay, so I'm going to do part two, um, where I'm going to bring this all together and... Um, and also explain a few things that perhaps you should have done, Nev.